The cove is Dante's Inferno for dolphins. We're trying to stop the dolphin slaughter and the dolphin captures. They're connected. You can't separate the two. All along. Anywhere in the world, there's a dolphin in trouble. Inevitably, my dad's phone will ring. This is all about a cover-up. They're covering and hiding something. This uh, small group of fishermen put this up to keep the public from seeing what happens down there in the cove. We're trying to count how many days we can go without killing dolphins in Taiji. So this is day one. No, I don't think they know we're here. Lincoln can go undercover and do things I can't do. I really didn't want him to do this for you. It's a sort of a double-edged sword. I have a lot of different emotions exposing Lincoln to that danger. That's eerie. You can really feel it happens in there. That's the actual killing hill over there. We see this pot of dolphins here, and they seem to be circling around the one dead dolphin. Yeah, sucks. It really doesn't seem like anything's changed here. The slaughter's about to begin. They're getting ready to kill you. He's telling me I can't use the camera in the national park, and uh, I'm going to use it. They brought the dolphins out to the barge where they will gut them and drag them over to the slaughterhouse and pack them up. Unbelievable. When I first came to the Solomon Islands, this was a country that was killing dolphins. They've been hunting dolphins for hundreds of years, and dolphin hunting was a traditional way of life. I've been training marine mammals for 21 years, and it didn't make sense to me as a trainer that they would kill dolphins for $20 when dolphins were worth so much money. I exported dolphins because I really felt it was a live alternative. A live alternative to what? To killing them. Really? Well, I just came from a village that hadn't captured dolphins in 20 years until you showed up and they saw dollar signs and then they started capturing them. I look at that pool as a source of income. I look at it and I see death. Chris reminds me of Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. He's a guy who's paddled too far up the river. As long as we keep the pressure on them, They'll be forced to shut this down eventually. What's making you sad? The dead dolphin? Or the whole damn thing? <laughs>